Well, hello and welcome to the Otana Today Show, your community connection since 1991. Today is Monday, October 9th of 2017. My name is Pete Connor. I'm your show's host with a delightful program. In fact, both segments today, we're going to devote to a conversation with Scott Nyland, who is going to tell us about uh, a book that he has just recently illustrated, among other things that he's done in his time. And uh, so we're looking forward to uh, having a great conversation uh, with Scott. So uh, before we get there, however, uh, we'd like you to know that we appreciate your feedback on what you see on Oatana today. So if you have a person that you think needs some recognition, or perhaps an organization or an event that would need some publicity, why don't you let us know about that by giving us an email at oatanatoday at charter.net or by giving Leanne Alt, our show's producer, a call at 390-5751. And now we're going to take a quick break for some messages from our sponsors, and we'll be right back with Scott, so please don't go away. Hi, I'm Jody Voison with the staff at Fairview Animal Medical Center, your other family doctor. Fairview Animal Medical Center is a proud supporter of the Oatana Today Show. Hi, I'm Betsy Linger from the Oatana Foundation. Your generosity has made Oatana a better place to live by benefiting our community, the arts, recreation, and education. Please consider a donation today. The Oatana Foundation is a proud sponsor of the Oatana Today Show. Well, welcome back to the Oatana Today Show, your community connection, and welcome Scott Nyland. Hey. Of, of, uh, what do we call it? A favorite, a hometown favorite son. I think oh, that's how it you. is. Yeah, yeah <laughs> thank you, know, you very the guys much. that come back, people come back who are from here. Uh, good to have you. Thank you. Welcome Thanks home. for thank you for having me, yeah. you guys. Oh, um, uh, absolutely. You were the first nice place I called when I knew I was coming back with some stories. Well, so. that that makes us feel pretty special. I'll tell good. you. You know, good. before we get with you, I've got to say this because I think you would agree. You know, you represent a, a group of people who maybe help to make Oatana unique, this creative thing that we have here. The artistry, the, the, the music, the, you know, the, the, the performance kinds of things. And you're one of, you know, several who have really gone on to do some Thank great you. things. Yeah. Thank you for saying that. I mean, I, I have to say it's because of my teachers. Yeah. Um, I go all the way back to Dee Teller, who I'm still friends with today. Yeah. Um, to Gary Sikora in yeah. high school, El Zinter as a choral director. Sure. I mean, I, the list goes on. Yeah. It, it, and my parents, uh, obviously, yeah. you know, like my parents nurtured my art. So, yeah. um, I mean, there's, you look at Sean Tillman, Harmar Superstar, yeah. Ryan Swery, yeah. you know, there are some pretty amazing artists. Yeah. I'm not alone, which yeah, you said. Yeah. Owl so. City. Uh, Owl City, yeah. yeah. I, I just, and, and more, if we, we could, we'd probably Go take way that. too much time to talk but, about uh, that. But Yeah, and I'm sure they would all say the same thing, that yeah. it comes from good teachers, great sure. teachers, sure. yeah, that saw that each of us in our own way had something to say. Yeah. You know, indeed, indeed. so I'm grateful to Oatana yeah, for that. I mean, okay. I, I well, always say like I'm so proud to be from Oatana. That's good. You know, and the other guy is um, uh, Kenward, Eric Kenward. Oh yeah, he's Eric, a writer at uh, SNL. Yeah, he's and he's out in New York, and there's no excuse for my and him not, <laughs> yeah, not connecting connecting yet. Uh, but I, and I keep telling myself I need to call Eric. Eric, yeah. we got to hang out. <laughs> so, yeah, good, good. Yeah. Well, let's talk about you and talk about this. All of this that we're going to hopefully be able to see today about yeah. your. You've already talked about your background and, and uh, how this all, you know, kind of started. But really today, I think you want to focus on, um, this is your first, is it? Um, well, it's my second time published, but now my, well, no, I've been published a few times. But my first children's book, yes. First children's book. Yeah, yes. yeah. Um, mm. it's, it's a pretty cool story. It's called The Trial of Mankind. Mm -hmm. um, I got linked up to the author, whose name is Vincent Stacy Dixon, um, through a friend of mine named Bernadette, who lives in Wilmington, Delaware. Mm -hmm. um, and basically, I was, I was teaching at Parsons. I, I taught fashion illustration and fashion mm -hmm. indus industries class, and my friend Bernadette called and said, you know, hey, Scott, would you ever be interested in doing a children's novel? Mm -hmm. And, and it th the thought crossed my mind, because everybody I know has children. Um, but she called at a point in my life that I wasn't taking on projects. I wasn't trying to add stress to my life. I wasn't trying to work for anybody. Um, and so I almost turned it down. I was like, no, not right now, Bernadette. I kind of need some me time. And, um, and she's like, Scott, I think you need to hear this story. <laughs> and, um, and I said, okay, and what's it about? And she continued to, in general sense, say this is about a, a young boy's coming of age 
and he, he learns about animals and how animals interact with him. Mm -hmm. And that caught my interest because that's kind of what I'm trying to do with my life right now is bring awareness to what we're doing to the planet mm -hmm. and, and what we're doing to animals and, and other indigenous cultures. Mm -hmm. um, and so I saw immediately that this definitely fit in line with what I want to do with my life. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, you know, you got my interest. Can you set up a phone call? And um, she did a, a few days later. Um, she called me and had Vincent online or on the phone. Mm -hmm. um, and Vincent had seen my artwork. She made sure he saw what I had created. Right. Um, and she set us up on the phone call. And, and after a little brief introduction, um, he started reading and he read the first two chapters of the book. Mm -hmm. I knew after the first two sentences that mm -hmm. I wanted this job. Um, and for, for a number of reasons, which we'll, which we'll get into. Mm -hmm. um, but so after he read the first two chapters, um, I said, I'll, I'll definitely try. Um, mm -hmm. And I took the next two weeks and I worked on a bunch of illustrations and um, kind of illustrated what I thought the family would look like. Uh, long story short, we'll get into the story, yeah. but um, I did a couple, like a couple of story images yeah. um, and I sent it to him over an email and um, he, he loved it. He had a few comments about, you know, the, the mother looks a little too classy, you know, like, you know, because I made her all New York looking and, <laughs> and she's supposed to be a little bit more country, you know. So he and I interacted so positively over the phone on, and when you listen to him speak, how he describes things, he's a, a, a wordsmith. Mm -hmm. And so um, it, the illustrations did themselves mm -hmm. after talking to him. So he never sent me a script. We did it from him reading the chapter over, over the phone. Um, oh, well, actually, I jumped too far ahead. After he saw those first illustrations, um, I, I planned to go out to uh, Cleveland, where he lives, yeah. and um, spend a couple days with him. Sure. So Bernadette, our friend, drove me to Cleveland, yeah. spent three days with him going over the whole story. First, he read it to me. Yeah. I ramble on all That's the time. That's fine. So. Do it. Do it. You're on. So, You're on. Um, looking yeah. Yeah, she, um, she, he, we, we basically listened to the whole story from mm -hmm. front to back the yeah. first time I heard it. Um, I was with Bernadette and her parents mm -hmm. and her daughter. And so he had us as a stage. Mm -hmm. And by the end of it, there were tears in her parents' uh -huh. eyes. And I was, I was sketching the entire time. I was doing little thumbnails of mm -hmm. what I saw as he was reading the story. Yeah. Yeah. And by the time we were done, I had 40 some little tiny thumbnails. And then I went back to his place and spent time with him and his wife. Mm -hmm. And um, we spent both nights, like, almost all night, refining it. We only had 20 images that we could fit into this book. And it's a nine chapter story. Mm. So we had to condense all these sketches down to, you know, 20. Yeah. So, and it was amazing. It, it is, it is. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Well, what I think is, you know, amazing too is that th this, you know, you, you, you're principally known as a fashion designer. Yeah. You know, yeah. you do clothes. <laughs> right, yeah. It's a, it's for a, some pretty famous people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And now you're, I'm, you know, we're looking at children children's and book. Yeah. a bear in here and, and there's, you know, other things. Lions that, and tigers. I mean, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. It, it, and I, it's crazy. Um, that's been my journey this whole life so far is um, being open to what the universe puts in front yeah, of me. Yeah. And, and the universe has put some pretty amazing things in front of me. But, so. but uh, what I also think is, is and it's, it's got to be for you by way of talent, is that you're, this is an ad, you are adaptable. I mean, oh. I mean, this is not, I mean, this is a, a wholesale flip. Yeah, yeah, you know, totally. But but it certainly falls within your your span Skill of capability. Set. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and that that's what I think is it's a blessing. It it um, the story when when we talk about that, it, it was so in line with what I'm passionate about, mm -hmm. and and at that point in my life, it I, I like I said, I wasn't really trying to mm -hmm. add on things that would bring on stress. Mm -hmm. um, and then my relationship with the author, it was so dynamic and so fluid mm -hmm. that it just came naturally. Like it, it really just kind of, like I said, when we go over the story, he links the words together so perfectly yeah. that all I had to do is listen. Right. And then being an artist, 
All I had to do is put it on paper. And, which, drop, and they'll drop it in, he drops it in, somebody drops it into the page where it belongs? Yeah, I told them to do it. Do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah when, when I delivered it, I had it all very yeah, clearly okay. put. Yeah. This image goes with that, and this goes with that. and Because yeah. I'm a perfectionist. I worked with people. Yeah, who so, demand that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't show them something that's halfway done. We can't go too much farther because we'll cool. forget it yeah. if we don't talk about that you're going to introduce this. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's here. This is your oh, yeah, introduction. Yeah. But we're also sure. going to do some other things publicly. Yeah. Tell us where you're going to be uh, in the next while. Okay, cool. So um, we're here. The author, Vincent Dixon, Vincent Stacey Dixon, is actually coming to Oatana, my friend, um, to do a, a reading at the Oatana Art Center on Sunday, October 15th mm -hmm. at 2 o'clock p.m. And we're going to start the reading right away because it's for kids to adults. Mm -hmm. You'll all love it. Mm -hmm. um, and we're starting it right away because we want to keep the kids' attention span. We have a few books that we're going to get away to some mm -hmm. of the kids, keep it really fun and light. And mm -hmm. when you listen to them speak, it's amazing. Mm. The day before, um, uh, Little Professor Book Center is uh, having us down there for a book signing. Cool. So Mr. Meixner has um, ordered a bunch of books and yeah. he's got us down there from nine o'clock in the morning till noon, yeah. um, signing books, saying hello to everybody and nice. telling our story. Yeah. So And, and once you meet Vincent, he's a riot. So yeah. you'll, <laughs> you'll love him. Oh, you'll, good, good. So. And, and when we do one, mm -hmm. is there one in the Kind of in the oven, getting baked. Is there another one coming? A, a book? Yeah. Well, Can yeah, we'll get into that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. No, he he's a, he's got a couple author, or yeah. a couple of books that he's working on. Right. There's a sequel to this, and then there's also a, sus a suspense murder thriller uh, that he's working on. Okay. So yeah, he's a genius, and yeah. like when you meet him, he's he's quite the quite the uh, author, writer, creative person. So you've you've kind of now got yourself you know, a kind of a clear view of, of doing some things now down the line. Don't yes, I, I, I've had a clear view of what I want to do with my career. Yeah. And when this landed on my lap, it was like icing on a cake. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, and, and what we'll, we'll get into what, I, what I'm kind of working on as well. Right. So, but this will definitely... You had mentioned before we uh, went on in the air that um, you had taken a trip down to the um, Amazon. Yep, yeah. Okay, and we're going to talk about the Amazon project. But what, how long were you there? I was there for a month. I, in the Amazon itself, was there for about a week and a half. Right. But while I was in South America, I went down for a month and um, spent two weeks in um, Ecuador mm -hmm. and then two weeks in Peru. And I had a couple objectives in both places that mm -hmm. I wanted to get done. Right. And that's part so, and parcel of what's you, what this book is on. About it it on. ended up being not at the time. Yeah. Yeah. When I when I went. I was simply looking for how to be happy, yeah. and and yeah. that's all. That's the you were decompressing at that point, totally. or, or just yeah. yeah I was trying to breath. figure out how to how to get inspired again. I, mm. I had seen so much and, mm. and 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 been blessed with so many things, mm -hmm. and when I left, I just kind of wanted to see what what was next. Mm -hmm. So and I found it, and yeah. when I got back, I kind of conceptualized an idea of a project, which we'll get into. Sure. Um, and then that's when I started working on it, and mm -hmm. through the work that I did. For that, that's how these people came to me to say, hey, would you be interested in doing a children's book? When did this happen? When were you there? Um, I was there uh, three years ago, oh. in, the, in the Amazon three years ago. Okay. And this, this all happened about a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. And then I worked for about a year to get the illustrations done. Yeah. They had the publisher set. They had everything done. Yeah. All they needed was someone to do the illustrations. illustrations. So, yeah. and I just happen to be the person to do the job. That's excellent. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's a great yeah. story. Just a great story. Cool. Well, we're going to take, um, uh, take a pause. Cool. And, and we're going to come back uh, in a little bit after we have some words from our sponsors. And we'll come back and we'll talk more about the project, the Amazon project, and okay. any other thing that we have time for. So okay. stay here. Don't go anywhere. And also to you folks, please stay with us. We're going to take some uh, time for uh, sponsor messages. Don't go away. Thank you. Welcome to Bremer Bank. I am Jason Eiberg. And I am Shannon Pedersen. Bremer is a full financial services bank. We invite you to stop by Bremer Bank and experience the Bremer difference. You, you are, are always, always welcome, welcome at Bremer. A voice you can talk to We're growing with you With you in mind And everything we do Oh, 
Since 1988, the Owatonna Area Business Development Center has been the part of the success of many area businesses. The center leases office space and manufacturing space and offers on-site business consulting. The Owatonna Area Business Development Center is in business to help your business be a success. Hi, this is Eric with the West Hills Tennis and Fitness Center. A heated swimming pool, sauna, running track, Cardi room, basketball court, weight room, and six tennis courts are among the amenities you can enjoy at our facility. We have a variety of membership packages available to meet the needs of everyone, or you can simply drop in for the day. Stop out today and take advantage of all we have to offer. West Hills Tennis and Fitness, encouraging and promoting a healthy lifestyle. Welcome back to the Today Show, your community connection. And again, welcome to Scott and Island for our second segment. You know, we, let's recover something about you a long time ago. Where did you go to school after Watana? What happened to your education post high school? Okay, after, so after high school, I went to Luther College. Okay. And um, stud, again, due to teachers and guidance, um, I, I went there thinking I wanted to be a doctor or psychologist mm -hmm. or something that made a lot of money. And, um, but I stayed in art because I knew I was good at that and that could keep my GPA up. Yeah. And so, um, but through that, one of my art professors saw in illustrating women during one of the figure drawing classes, I was dressing them and putting clothes on them. Yeah. And so he went and actually got pamphlets for Fashion Institute of Technology in Parsons in New yeah. York, brought them to me and said, you know, Scott, have you ever thought of doing fashion illustration or fashion design? Mm -hmm. You're doing it already and I had not thought about that you know we're from Otana yeah. back then Project Runway was not on TV so people didn't necessarily grow up to be fashion mm -hmm. designers so I um, my parents brought me out there and I looked at both schools and decided to go to Fashion Institute of Technology and um, from there um, graduated and oh sorry went from Luther to Fashion mm -hmm. Institute of Technology and from there graduated and worked with uh, Ralph Lauren in mm -hmm. retail for like three and a half years and that was just retail but it opened the door to everything mm -hmm. else I got to know creative people on their teams that sure. did window display or um, merchandising stuff like that all things that you need to know in the industry mm -hmm. and then um, once they moved to Tommy Hilfiger corporate they brought me along and then I started illustrating showroom design and, and then I started working with design. And so my illustration kind of got me in that door that with this team and they kind of sure. brought me along. Yeah. So then that brought me to um, Andy Hilfiger and he and Jennifer Lopez and mm -hmm. then I started illustrating for her um, for a couple seasons through their creative director whose name was Heather. Mm -hmm. um, and then she left and went to work for Beyonce mm -hmm. and that's kind of what brought me to Beyonce, okay. um, because I was the first person she called to do kind of concept illustrations of what they wanted the, the clothing brand to look like. Mm -hmm. And so I met Miss Tina and met Beyonce and they gave me a job and, and 10 years long was oh. my relationship with yeah. them. So that's, that's, you know, yeah. I don't know, for, it seems like for an industry that, you know, where changes come be kind of quickly 10 years could be, a, be considered a long time oh yeah it, it totally is it seems like I mean in the industry people kind of say a good experience is about seven years long uh -huh. you know and and I I you know it was like a family though so that's what I think was was cool about our team is like mm -hmm. there's a small group of people that were all so close and protected this person yeah. so so dearly because she protected us you know so it was very much like a huge blessing to work mm -hmm. for a family that not only employed you and yeah. gave you, you know, Miss Tina gave me her daughter to dress on stage for some right. of the biggest, you know, red carpets and, the, you know, they, I got to travel the world because of these people. Yeah. So it was pretty, uh, an amazing experience. Amazing experience. Yeah. 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 But, you know, as things are, you know, as you say, you had to make a turn just for yourself. Yeah. You know, to yeah. kind of get re reoriented, if you want to say. Yeah. yeah back to your roots or whatever the case is and that's exactly yeah. that's exactly what i had to find was like 
Um, at a certain point, she you know updated the creative team with um, after we launched the surprise album, and and it was all happy hugs, goodbyes, and see you later. It's not nothing negative. No. And then um, and then I went to South America because my everything I sketched in fashion was her. Mm -hmm. It was kind of like I can't do a fashion illustration without it being Beyonce, yeah. you know, or this Beyonce perform persona type thing. So I had to figure out, well, who am I going to illustrate now? Sure. Who's my muse? You were kind of like an, an actor being a character actor, always the tough guy or the bad guy or always the good guy or yeah. always the funny guy. You have to but, but, know how to play those roles. Right. Yeah, definitely know. Because, you know, whether it be for a performance this way or, you know, you yeah. have to know how to adapt to all these different scenarios that pop up and dress for the occasion or, or whatnot. Yeah. And so yeah. when that ended, I didn't want to be one of those pe people that lingers and, you know, I still love and respect her, but I'm not going to, uh, you know, keep trying to address just her because there's this whole world of people out there. Right. And that brought me to the Amazon rainforest yeah. and, and another muse, who, her name's Nina Gualinga, who's an um, uh, activist, an indigenous activist from mm -hmm. South America who I've become friends with mm -hmm. and um, through learning and becoming aware, um, which is what my trip to South America kind of inspired me yeah. to do. So let's mm -hmm. talk about that Amazon project then. What does cool. that mean? So, so basically, when I went to South America, um, I wanted to figure out how to rejuvenate my creative self. I, I hadn't done a fashion illustration for two years. I mean, I, you know, I worked for the, the biggest superstar in the world. I could have dressed her if I wanted to. There was a budget for me to make whatever clothes I wanted to. But I was just kind of like over it. Mm -hmm. um, and so when we parted ways, I went to South America. I saw do you, Maggie Lochner. Um, mm -hmm, sure. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Her and her husband were yeah. staying in Ecuador, and she invited me down there to kind of use her home as a hub to oh, to go other oh, places. Nice. Yeah. yeah, she's my best. She's my yeah. bestie. Yeah. Um, so um, <laughs> I went down there and went to the rainforest. Mm -hmm. And in the time there, I took like a I stayed at an eco lodge mm -hmm. called a Sacha Lodge, and they basically while giving you tours through the middle of the rainforest, eight hours deep, um, educated you on kind of what's going on down there with oil extraction or with mining or with um, deforestation because of cattle or all these different things that are happening to the rainforest right. that nobody up here is talking about because we, got, we can't even get along with other things going on. Mm -hmm. So I figured for me to find happiness, I like to add everything that makes me happy, which was art, fashion, philanthropy, family, and culture. Mm -hmm. And from those five things that me and Maggie talked about down in South America, I decided that I want to do an exhibit, a, a fashion and art exhibit inspired by the indigenous people of the Amazon that would bring awareness to the struggles that they're facing down there mm -hmm. through my art. And then that's kind of where what I've been working on. Can, but, we, see, can we see some yeah, of it? Yeah. Can we hold that, some of that up? Definitely. We'll, so, uh, so what it is, is it's about five, the exhibit is about five or six large scale art pieces that consist of all of my original fashion illustrations. This is one, oops, that's probably not an appropriate one to show. <laughs> 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 oh, okay, let's show this one. <laughs> yeah, that one didn't have color. No, that it didn't have color. But but on it there's a there's an image of a girl. So this is a color image one. This is a um, um, the the pregnant girl on one side is that's actually Nina Gwilinga, who I'm very inspired by. Mm -hmm. um, but it's basically I'm trying to bring awareness to what what's happening down there through illustration, mm -hmm. um, and that's my craft. So. Um, these large-scale art pieces are being built as we speak, and I'm hoping to unveil one of them um, at the book reading. Um, but yeah, about eight feet by eight feet large, consisting of the illustrations. But as you see them, when I finish the exhibit, there will be information on certain indigenous communities, why, they f why they're facing you know, execution with right. oil extraction sure. and with other things like that. And and the exhibit is where? I haven't said, uh, it's not okay. not there yet. I'm I'm kinda, there. Okay. I started the process two years ago and I wanted yeah. it to be done already, but yeah. I need funds. I'm, oh, I'm yeah. a starving artist. I, oh, you know, okay. and so that's when the book came along. Yeah. 
so the book will hopefully. So, mom and dad are going to feed you for a while. <laughs> well, no, food stamps have been feeding you. And that's why, yeah, that's a whole other story. Yeah, yeah, but, sure. but in New York City, they're very good to their, yeah. their unemployed. And I am, you know, like I'm working on projects when I get yeah. them. You know, I just. I, I, what I love about this is the fact that you come from Montana, but you're a citizen of the globe. You're a citizen of the, of the world. And, and you are, you know, you're a part of that, you know, and you're showing a part of your citizenship in this way, you know, oh, rainforest. Cool. I mean, a kid from Montana going to the rainforest and all, you're a part of that. So I think there's a, there's a real, you know, almost metaphysical kind of a thing that comes, I think, as a result. And you are better off for it. Thank you. you know? Yeah, I definitely think, like, because of all of the things that have happened in my journey, they have led me to this yeah. and I've never been happier and, yeah so definitely yeah. something that you know I was looking for we're gonna plug this one more time is that the book is going to be um, a, a little professor a signing on the 14th yep signing it little professor and, and it's the, available at the little professor as we speak as we speak and you can order your copy through on, them on the 15th at the uh, Watan Art Center yep at two o'clock two o'clock yeah perfect well I hope people will show up and be there and Boy, I, I just wish we had another segment. Oh There's man, more to say oh, that's it. To <laughs> no. Yeah, but we can't uh, do any more. We have to. Yeah, we will. We will. Yeah. yeah. Well, I appreciate you guys. Oh, well, thank this you awesome. for coming here and letting us uh, have cool. this chat. And uh, best wishes uh, thank you. on all. Uh, God's blessings to you on your work as you go thank forward. You. And we'll catch up again. All right. And thank you for being with us today. Uh, we're going to take some time for some sponsor messages, and we'll be right back. So please stay tuned. Cool. Cedar Valley Services, located at the corner of Rose and Grove in Owatonna, provides an array of services for people with disabilities in Steele County. CVS thanks the entire community, especially our business customers, for supporting us in Owatonna for 43 years. Thank you from CVS. Welcome back to the Otana Today Show Your Community Connection. Here are some community announcements for you today. The North Strait River Parkway with the Lying Woods Trail and the Wildung Islandfell Trail is now open. There are still some landscaping, benches, signs, and other miscellaneous details to be completed, but the trail is asphalted with lights and has a wood chip interpretive loop. There will be a grand opening in spring 2018, but for now, <clears throat> enjoy the trail from North Street to 26th Street. Mark your calendars for Park and Rec's fourth annual Trick or Treat Trail on October 28th from 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock in Manthe Park. The event is free and there will be food shelf items being taken. The Steele County DFL is sponsoring a forum on health care for all presented by Minnesota State Senator John Marty. The forum will be held Thursday, October 19th from 7 to 9 p.m. in the Ganey Room of the Otana Library. Marty is the author of Healing Healthcare, the case for a common sense universal health system, which describes the Minnesota Health Plan, a single statewide plan that would cover all Minnesotans for all their medical needs. And the public is welcome. That'll take care of it for today. Uh, do come back. I have my stuff here on Wednesday because we're going to have some other people here. <laughs> Sylvia Archer will be with us uh, to talk about that uh, DFL Healthcare Forum on October 19th as well as some folks from the Owatonna Police Department with its uh, regular updates. So we'll look forward to have, have you back here on Wednesday, and thanks again for being with us. Have a good couple of days.